After years of back pain, scans, and even one surgery, Nicole Castro accepted pain as part of her life. I would have back spasms at times that would take me to my knees. That's how bad and how strong the back spasms were. So it means the back pain was very limiting at times and nobody really gave me any answers. So I had really just succumbed to the idea that this was really just going to be what my back was going to be. She tried yoga, physical therapy, medication, you name it. I was sleeping in the recliner, couldn't sleep in the bed, um, limited my activities, you know, limited what I could do with the grandkids. It just got progressively worse. Then neurosurgeon Dr. John Weaver took away her pain in a roundabout way. She was connected with him for carpal tunnel surgery, but after he looked at her scans, he found something in her spine that had been missed by previous providers. More precisely, he found something missing in her spine. The way he explained it was like, it's kind of like the ship is your main spine and then you have the chain and then you have the anchor, which is your disc. So I'm missing the chain basically holding the disc. So he said the disc is basically just like floating out to sea. So what was happening was the disc was pressing into my spinal cord and then it was also causing the other ones to slide also. And it was bone on bone. I really didn't have any space. It was compressing both nerves going down my legs. I had back spasms pretty much daily and it's been this way for years. It just got progressively worse over time. Dr. Weaver's solution, a minimally invasive surgery. He said he was gonna go in through my side. They were gonna take some marrow out of my hip area and put it in between my discs and create like a spacer almost. And then the marrow was gonna, he, they were gonna use my marrow to fuse naturally. They used the plate and the screws into the discs and used that to stabilize it and put the spacer. And that's what opened up my discs and then kept them in place and aligned them. And if you look at the x-rays now, they're perfectly lined. There's the space between the discs and it looks completely different. I only have an incision on the side and two small incisions on my back. That's it. And everything healed up beautifully. I mean, it's crazy because he actually, I have a tattoo where he went in on my back and he didn't even mess up the tattoo. <laughs> like the tattoo is still perfect. I had a back brace that I had to wear for, I believe it was like eight weeks. And I wore the back brace when I was up and around. Um, but I was mobile pretty much immediately. I was able to get up and walk right after surgery. Within months, she was completely recovered and off all medications, including ones she needed pre-surgery. I am completely pain-free, spasm-free. I mean, it's amazing, but I never imagined that I would be completely pain-free and muscle spasm-free. And best of all, she's back to focusing on what she loves most. You know, I can take them out, I can chase them down, I can run with them, I can lift them, all that stuff. And I'm not limited. Like there's just no limitations anymore. If you find the right surgeon and the right procedure, it can help. I mean, I'm like a testament to it. We just heard Nicole talk about the importance of finding the right doctor. We are now joined by that right doctor for her, neurosurgeon Dr. John Weaver. Dr. Weaver, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation to be here. Hey, you know, Nicole told us how she met you, but from your history and how you remember it, how did you connect with her as a patient? She discussed the fact that she had had a long history of low back pain, that uh, dating back to the 2000, 2001, aggravated by her working as a nurse and all physical activities seemed to make it worse. She had carpal tunnel syndrome and we reviewed that and discussed surgery for the carpal tunnel, but we started looking at her images as well as regards to her low back and how that might have uh, caused her symptoms that she did also described. 
and, and, and when you looked at that imaging, what did you find then? Well, she had a significant misalignment of two bones, the lower lumbar spine number L4 and L5. And L4 had a congenital abnormality, a relatively common one, an absence of, of a portion of the bone that allows an instability to occur. We chose her surgery so that it could be the most minimally invasive procedure, and I think one of the most successful procedures. We have opportunities to enter the spine directly from the front, which is anterior, directly lateral, which is a lateral approach, and an angle, which is an oblique approach, or from the back, a posterior approach, which most of us think about when we think what's back surgery, an incision on your back. In this case, her incision was low and on her left side. So we provided an oblique approach to the anterior part of the spine. And in that surgery, we emptied the disc space out, put an angled spacer in that space to jack up the disc space and give her a more normal spinal curvature. And then in the second procedure at the same operation, made two small incisions on her back and placed percutaneous screws. In other words, without direct observation of the bones, we're replacing the screws, watching on our fluoroscopic imaging. We place screws into the two adjacent bones, fold them back into normal alignment, and lock them in position. The best step for most patients that have pain in their back, in their buttock, in their legs, um, or even in their arms and necks as, as regards to uh, cervical spine, is, is to reach out to their primary care providers, because most pains that occur will be treated well without surgery. And modalities of heat and ice, anti-inflammatory medications, medications that help reduce nerve irritability called antineuralgics, yoga, acupuncture, physical therapy, and even chiropractic management often cure the pains that most of us experience. And most of us will have neck and back pain during our lifetime. It is not, it's a common experience. Surgery, uh, you don't avail yourself of surgery until you have managed these things with non-surgical care. All right, Dr. John Weaver, good to know there are so many options for treating this type of pain. Thank you for your time today.